What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I'm going to show you how to send contracts electronically from your CRM, your Resimply CRM, to sellers and receiving them back signed. All right. Very simple process and a very important process if you're running a, a wholesale operation or if you're just running a solo operation. You know, still super, super important and um, very important that you keep it seamless. I know with me, I was using DocuSign, DocHub, you know, just different platforms. And it's so much easier having it sent from your CRM, uh, just from one platform. It just simplifies everything. That's very important. So I already created one, but I'm going to show you from A to Z how to do it. So you want to already have a contract PDF form that you can upload. Okay. We use a basic two page uh, two page contract. 99% of our sellers are very simplistic, you know, uh, but you will come across the analytical ones that want the official state contract. Um, if that's the case, we will send them a 12 page Trek contract um, that they can spend hours looking through. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, everybody is fine with the basic two pager gets the job done. Uh, so the beautiful thing about Resimply is they've set it up to where you can literally just drag and drop things wherever you want it. All right. Uh, so we're going to start with the roles. There's two roles. There's you and the seller. OK, uh, two parties. So we're going to be blue. Fire. The sellers going to be green um, because it's money green. So buyers. We're going to start with uh, everything that you need to do and pre-populate first before sending um, sending the contract. And this is a template that we're building. You don't have to do this every single time, okay? But uh, so for this contract, agreement is made. We need a date. Drag and drop the date right here uh, between me, the seller, or me, <laughs> uh, be between the seller. So let's drag and drop text field you want to put seller full name and then me the buyer or you the buyer um and you can just put one two three uh main street it's a very common address <laughs> and uh i like to i'm gonna change change the sizing on that just so it can uh fit a little better um and then right here for me i'm gonna put property address and then legal description all right you can get that on your county county website and one of the most important parts is the purchase price so simply just gonna do a text field right here and just like that. add that in there and just so i can have something to work with so i could just uh, erase it and put when I need to and where I need to. Uh, like I said, very basic, um, basic contract. I'll actually put this for free in the uh, in the links below. You can check it out and download this for sure. It's been approved by lawyers and my title company. Um, close of escrow. We're going to put a data entry field right here. That way you can change it up. It's not the date you're signing this contract, but you can change it up for the future. Um, and we're gonna, oh, so view only. These need to be view only. Uh, so the seller is just viewing these, okay? They're not uh, manipulating mani manipulating them in any way, shape, or form. They're just viewing. They're only going to have access to uh, create their signature. And that's that's the name of the game. You want it to be as easy as possible for these sellers. So if they open the, 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 the contract, they're gonna read through it, and boom, if they mentally agree, and they're gonna physically, not physically, they're going to electronically sign the contract. Um, title company, that'll be another text field that they will only be able to view. And then, so for the buyer, I want to be able to sign it. So I'll put a signature right here. And then I want to date, date signed. It'll automatically input it. You'll see when I do it right here. And that is it for this contract. Very short contract, like I said. So let's uh, go to recipient parties. Let's do seller. Like I said, we want to keep it as simplistic as possible. So just go to wherever the seller needs to sign, drag and drop the signature. It is mandatory. And then date signed. All right. So as soon as they sign that bad boy, uh, it'll auto auto populate the, uh, the dates and everything. Okay. So we are going to, so 
I come first. Okay. So I'm the buyer and it'll automatically come to me and then I'll fill out all of this needed information in the blue. And then next it'll be the seller. And you can add as many people as possible that you want. Like if you want your, your business partner to just be able to view the, view the contract and not sign anything, or if you want them to sign, you can, you can add them in here. If you have a second seller, that's important. You want to put them here. Um, anything, anything you could think of, you could put them right here and it'll just go down this order in this order right here. All right, so we're going to save and close this. And we are going to go, let's go to a test lead really quick. Let's go to active, actually let's go to dead leads. Uh, these are all dead leads, take them if you want. If you get something, let me know. But uh, we'll just do whatever this is. So let's just say you want to send a contract to them. Uh, first, I would put them in offers made and then you would go over here to actions. Send for e-sign. So this is the one we just created. It will give you the options of all the documents that you have already in there. And it will give you the option to whatever pre-populated information you have, I just do my info. And you could change this up if you don't want them to know your personal name, you can put your company name and then just a space or however you want to do it. But, um, and then let me see, I'm going to change the email address to this one. And then the seller. So if there was a name in here, it would, uh, it would put their information in here by primary seller information, but there's no, seller info here, but I just want to show you all this. So let's just put Joe. Uh, Joe's, uh, and then let's put their email address. Let me just do one of my other email addresses. Dot com. And we will do submit. And remember, I'm going to get it first. Then we're going to go uh, act as the seller and get that. Okay. So it has been sent. Oh, no, it's been sent to be edited. OK, so then it's going to take you to this page. And this is where you want to input all the gray information. OK, so let's just do one, two, three, Main Street and lock two, section five. Let's say you're purchasing the property for $70,000, which is a great deal anywhere here in Houston. Title company. Oops. Oh, close the date. Sorry. Close of escrow. My bad. Uh, so close the escrow. Let's just say, let's put it a month out. 17th, Friday, 16th. And title company. ABC title. And then everything else is in blue what, that you'll um, input once you uh, open it in your email. Okay, so it's ready to go. Remember, it's going to go to you first, the buyer, and then Mr. Joe, the seller, okay? So we're going to send after we confirm everything. You could change the subject, um, you know, if they're an older seller, if you want to put some specific type of verbiage in there. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Please review and e-sign the documents. Then it'll give you the title and everything. Now we're going to send. And see it says added and successfully or added successfully. Um, I'm gonna show you how it looks here so once you click on the lead or we're already in the lead you can click on e-sign and you'll see that it's been sent so who's it, who has it been sent to it's been sent to you remember so i think i use this one as the buyer there we go and this is how it looks how it will look on your end we simply contracts and you just want to view the document and accept and it already pre-populated everything like i said or here's the date right here full seller's name 
um, Joe, I think it was Swalls. That's the address right there. Address right there, address right there. So they don't have to touch it. Oh, I had a little typo, dang, 70F, <laughs> 70 freaking thousand. Um, yeah, just make sure you don't have any typos like that. Close the escrows there, ABC title, and you will sign right here by clicking this and then yeah it'll auto populate your name so you will sign and it already has the date pre-populated of signature and we will finish congratulations now let's put our seller hat on click on the seller's email yes i have ninety-four thousand emails and this is how it looks resimply contracts View documents. Everything's already input. Hey, that's my name. That's what the seller will say. Uh, address 70F and thousand. Close with escrow in a month. If it's title, oh, that's the buyers. That's what you did. And oh, this is all I have to do is sign. Awesome. Let me sell my property. And it's already in there. Boom, sign. That's it. Okay, they have signed the contract, so let's finish. But we're the seller still, and this is how it looks. They'll get a copy as well sent to them, and they can click more actions and download it, do whatever they want with it. Um, so now let's go back to our uh, dashboard or lead, and let's refresh. See, it says sent right here. Now it will say completed. Yay! So we have a completed file. And you can download it from here or you can just click it, open it, and you'll get an email as well of the completed document. And I like how it shows everything, timestamps and everything. So there's all the breadcrumbs are left. And this is your signed and completed contract with both names on there. And you can save it as well. Uh, let's go double check that we received it in the email. Oh, actually, it, go, it went to my other my other email um but it's okay but yeah you will receive the email of the signed contract just in case you don't have access to sign into your resimply wherever you're at you can just save the pdf and send it directly to your title company and uh and go from there but um yeah that's how you sign or get a contract signed uh from your crm super simple um definitely let me know if you have any questions this is what we use okay and this is what we will always continue to use uh, just because of the simplicity of it. Uh, remember, that's very important to just keep everything simple. Don't overthink things. I know when I was first getting started, I was overthinking everything on all these platforms. I love Resimply. Like I said, I've been using it for eight or nine months now. If you want to try it out, definitely check the link out below. Uh, I think you'll get like a, a free month or half a month free or whatever. But uh, yeah, all of our students use it as well. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions, especially in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, or if you're wondering why I said some, you know, certain something, I will answer them in the comments so everybody can see. And uh, yeah, talk to y'all later. All right, peace.